All right, this video is dedicated to Nicole and everyone else who feels the same way as her. She asked on my YouTube channel, why is Webflow so complicated and hard to use? Now, this is just gonna be one a one take video. I'm not gonna edit it because I love answering this question and I want to be as real as possible when whenever I ask this question. So Webflow does have a steep learning curve for some. All right. Now, if you're coming from the web development uh, background where you already know how to code, yes, Webflow is going to, it will, will be easy for you. All right. Because Webflow codes HTML and CSS visually. So you don't have to hand code it on your own. However, if you're coming from a graphic design background or you're coming in as a marketer trying to create a website on Webflow, yes, there's going to be a learning curve. The reason why is because, like I said, Webflow codes the HTML and CSS. It doesn't cut corners. It doesn't allow you to just place anything anywhere. It's bound to the rules of the foundation of web, of web design, which is HTML and CSS. All right now, uh, like I tell graph designers, uh, graph design students, and, and people who are coming into Webflow uh, trying to learn web, just like graph design, you have to know the fundamentals of that medium, which is uh, lighting, typography, imagery, color theory, layout, composition, concepting. You need to learn all of those things before you get into graph design. You can't just create a poster or a billboard without that fundamental knowledge and say, yeah, I'm a graphic designer. I'm just going to go into whatever graphic design tool and boom, something amazing is going to show up and going to be printed, right? No, that's not how it works. You need to learn the fundamentals. So if you're just going straight into graphic design, yes, there is a high learning curve. Same thing with web design. If you're going into web professionally, you have to learn the fundamentals of web, which is HTML and CSS. Now, with Webflow, we try to make that learning curve as low as possible for people coming into building for the web. And we have a thing called uh, university, uh, Webflow University. So you can go to university.webflow.com and consume all those tutorial videos for free. And our education team is adding more and more videos every week. It's amazing. And they add jokes into it. So it's easier to consume. And it's really funny. I even still watch those videos because I'm looking for the jokes. And I probably learn a thing or two because I'm like, oh, maybe I should try that technique. Anyways, um, if you're still having trouble learning Webflow, that's fine. Things take time to learn. As learn as long as you're learning one new thing each day, you're gonna get better at it. And this is one of the reasons why I create these videos on my own personal channel. Because whenever I learn something new, I wanna share it with the world. And in hopes that you do as well. If you learn something new, please share it, because I wanna learn from you too. So for uh, Nicole and everyone else, who are feeling this way, that Webflow seems a bit tough to use, it's on purpose, but for good reason. We're showing you how to develop for the web, but in a visual way. You don't have to hand code everything, but you can mess around with all those buttons, all right? And just like being a kid, when you're growing up, it's not like there was a, a manual for life right when you're a kid. No, when you're playing with toys and, and exploring the world, you were testing and failing, testing and failing. But each time you failed, you learned something new. And so that way you can learn, uh, that way you can do something new, explore something new, play with something new, fail at it, but learn from that failure. And that's how we all grow. And we all do it visually. As kids, we've done learning visually and Webflow brings that visual learning to the professional web design industry. So have fun with Webflow, click around as much as you can, fail at it and learn from those failures. And if you ever need help, university.webflow.com, my YouTube channel, the forums, forum.webflow.com, the Facebook group, 
um, the Facebook page, the subreddit, the t- Twitter. Just ask people on Twitter. Insert everywhere. You can find knowledge everywhere. All right. So yeah, have fun with it. Fail and learn, and hit subscribe. <laughs> all right. That's about it. Thank you, Nicole, for your comment. And if anyone else has a question about Webflow, the web design industry, or anything, you know, let me know in the comments. Uh, Thank you all so much for listening and watching this video. Uh, Yeah, that's about it. (laughs) All right. Like I said, one take. So how do I? Oh, yeah. And as always, make the web beautiful together. See ya.